Yes, big dogs, welcome back to the YouTube. We are in for a full day of eating, which is the peak off season edition. So last time we did a full day of eating, I think I went about five and a half thousand calories, just pushing up. I'm now at my peak, uh, so I'm gonna run through my food. Um, last time I was eating six meals a day. I've, uh, I've changed that now, I'm eating five meals a day, just because it's easy to get in time-wise. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna run you through what my daily food intake is like. It's got a little bit of a struggle this last couple of weeks. I've only got like three, four weeks left of off season. Um, so I've just changed my meals around slightly just to make them more, more easy to get down. So meal one is going in, which is 250 grams of 5% beef mints, 150 grams of jasmine rice, some peppers, mushrooms, and some red cabbage, 150 grams of strawberries, and 250 ml of innocent smoothie fruit juice, which comes in at 1,039 calories, which is uh, 167 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, 65 grams of protein. So my protein has increased per meal a little bit. My carbs are around 175 grams per meal post-workout a little bit more, and then I've got intra carbs as well, but I'll run through that as I'm going through. This is uh, just easy for me to get down at the minute, and uh, I've gone off eggs a little bit, I've gone off bread a little bit, so I'm just keeping it very basic, very simple. Um, keeping my digestion in check, and this is doing the job, so let's get it down, and uh, see you back for meal two. Right guys, back for meal two, which is pre-workout. So I've just put some boiling water in, a couple of grams of pink salt. By the way, the new Trained by JP t-shirt drop is now live. So we've gone back to the old school. These are probably my favorite ones, these. Um, I will get some shots of some others today, but uh, yeah, go check them out. Use code Nathan 10 and get back on the OG Trained by JP t-shirts. So, I'm gonna stick meal two on, which is 125 grams of baby rice. I've spoke about this before. The reason I use baby rice at the minute instead of cream of rice is just for digestion reasons. It's just very easy to digest. There's no artificial flavours in there, so it just sits very nice. When I get into prep, I'll probably switch on to cream of rice. So, 125 baby rice. Is that right, Phoebes? 60 grams of trained by JP whey isolate. This is chocolate fudge, this. Chocolate fudge is banging to be fair. That's not going to mix that, please, is it? <laughs> <coughs> oh, I like that little whisk. That's just travel whisk. Yeah. Mix that up, Babby. Good Ramsey. Done that before. 100 grams of banana, actually 107. <laughs> 20 grams of almond butter. then I'll probably just top that up to get to me like 175 carbs with a bit of honey or a couple of caramel snack jacks. So I'm just going to pop it in. <clears throat> yeah so meal two currently that is 130 gram of carbs um, with 
12 grams of fat, so I'm going to add some honey. 30 grams of honey will give me 25 grams of carbs. And then I'll add a couple of caramel snacker jacks as well, which will give me 22, which will take me to 175. Perfect. 1,100 calories, 182 carb fat, 14 fat, 64 protein. Perfect. This has probably got the hardest meal to get down. But normally, this is quite easy. I think it's because it's quite sweet. I know a lot of people like sweet stuff, but I am, I'm quite savoury. It's quite plain, aren't I? Yeah. Especially when it gets into off season, like sweet stuff, I'm like, oh, I can't go with that. Sometimes you have chicken and rice, don't you? Yeah, sometimes I'll just have. I'll, I'll swap that for just chicken and rice, <coughs> and one bottle of banana and some snack and jacks. So that's meal two. Another massive bowl full of snap. <laughs> Another thousand calories going in. So I'm gonna get that banged in, which is about 90 minutes pre-training, so it's 12 o'clock now, just. And um, we'll get that in. I'll do my intro and my pre, and then we'll get off to the gym. Yes, big dogs. We're back for pre and intra workout. So, <clears throat> 80 grams, I've just put my sustain in actually, but 80 grams of sustain going in, which I spoke about this before. Sustain, which is the very burst flavor, is for me the best intra workout carb on the market for digestibility, taste, how it mixes. I do sometimes use the performance fuel as well, mix it, but at the minute I'm just really getting on with the sustain, so. Get that in. And we've got a brand brand new fresh tub of MPS Max, which is the essential aminos. Always struggle to find the scoop. So we'll get 25 grams of that going in. grams of pink salt a bit of glutamine when digestion is under a little bit of stress from the amount of food I'm consuming in the off season I try and up my glutamine intake to about 30 grams a day so I'll have like 10 in a morning shake which you, you miss me of that I'll put 10 in here I'll have 10 probably Pre-bed as well. And that is the intra done. That's that done. And then pre-workout, pumpage, blue slushy flavour. Scooping off and 10 grams of creatine. There we go. Job done. No, uh, no, no caffeine, no, no caffeine or stimulated stimulant pre-workout today. I'm just going with with pumpage. I feel pretty decent, so I'll, I'm not having any caffeine. That'll uh, get us ready to get to get rocking at the gym. So, in for pull, and uh, I'll see you back for post workout. What, what time is it? It's quarter to. I've been here since 26 minutes past. Yes, don't take pictures because you think you're a pro and you've got 20,000 followers. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Fucking sick of it. Why didn't you come in? Did you hear what he said then? Why didn't you come in? Did you hear what he said? What? I can be whatever time I want. I've got 23,000 Instagram followers. As though it means all. As though it means all.
Yes, big dog. So we are back from the gym. Great session. Post-workout going down, which is a bit of a concoction now. So we've got 150 grams of cereals, frosties. Um, 60 grams of Trained by JP, ISO Pro. White chocolate hazelnut, which I've blended up with some ice. I'll just pour that off. Oh, yes. Um, and then we've got... Four caramel snacky jacks with 40 grams of honey on there and 150 grams of strawberries. So nice and easy digestible fast acting carbohydrates there which is, it's come to 225 grams of carbs, 5 grams of fat, 60 grams of protein. So when we get that down um, and then we'll be back for meal 5. Peace out. Right, big dogs, so we're just preparing the next two meals, which is another 150 gram of rice, each portion. Um, jasmine rice is just really easy to digest at the minute for me, so I'll just get it down. Yeah, it's a lot of rice, but it is what it is, just got to keep, keep plugging away with it. So, 150 grams of jasmine rice, 250 grams of chicken breast, some veggies, just frying some peppers up. Um, got some red cabbage in there, which I'll put with my next meal as well. My last meal, which will be salmon, 250 grams of salmon fillet, 150 grams of rice. Then I will make my carbohydrates up from some uh, naked smoothie, about 250 ml, some fruit, and then some more caramel snacky jacks. So yeah, I'll uh, get this finished cooking and I'll show you the finished products. Let's get it. I knew I weren't lying. So this is what this is what you need in off season. One of these horse bags, you just wrap it round your head, <laughs> fill it full of your snap for a day, and you just can just plough through it. That's what I feel. That's what I feel like in off season. I knew I weren't lying. I've seen it before. It's a good idea that. <laughs> wrap round head, just keep munching. <laughs> Sit. Sit, you daft dog. Neela. So last meal, I usually have, oh fuck you know, <laughs> bananas we know, sometimes I have a squares bar, or a couple of squares bars, um, so I'm going to have, so in the last meal I'm going to have a bit of smoothie, I'm going to have a couple of chocolate snacky jacks, so I've run out of squares bars. There we go. So that's my fruit for my next two meals. My snacky jacks, my smoothie, chicken and rice, salmon, rice is cooking. Nearly, uh, nearly go time. Right. This is what I made earlier. <laughs> I kneel off heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> meal five, no it's not. It's meal four, meal four and five. Throw me off because I have, I said this at the start, but I've gone from six meals to five meals. I've increased my protein intake a little bit each meal and increased my carb intake a little bit each meal. So I just, I was just finding that <coughs> it was getting like two, two and a half hours ready to eat my next meal again. I'm like, I am not hungry. Um, and then what has happened in previous off seasons, what's happened in the past is I've been staying up till 11 and half 11, 12 o'clock to get my last meal in. Then I've got a bad night's sleep, it's affected me. I've got up later the next morning. And my old routine's messed up. I miss cardio because I've been in bed and it's just a knock-on effect. And that 
is when off season comes to an end because your digestion goes to shit, your sleep's gone to shit, your recovery's gone to shit. So as soon as I started feeling like appetite was becoming a bit of a struggle um, and my meal timings were getting slightly affected, I, uh, I spoke to Cal and we decided to, to drop it down to five meals. Because I can eat the volume of food in each meal, it's just then the, the time between each meal that was causing me, me the issue. Because I still want to focus on getting in bed at a reasonable time to, to get to sleep, to get a, a solid solid sleep so I can get up, get my cardio done and stay on routine. So um, it's worked very, very well for me. Obviously, as soon as appetite picks up when we get into prep and food starts coming down and I'm getting hungry between meals, I more than likely will revert back to six meals again. Um, it's just worked out this last sort of four weeks or so, very beneficial. So meal five. 150 grams of jasmine rice, 250 grams of chicken breast, some veggies, four caramel snacker jacks, 150 grams of fruit. Meal six, 250 grams of salmon fillet, 150 grams of jasmine rice, 150 grams of fruit, two chocolate snacker jacks, which is normally sometimes a squares bar. And then I will top that up with about 250, 300 ml of smoothie. So you can see that my meals generally are still all whole foods, fruit, good protein source, easy digestible carbohydrates, and this is sitting really well for me. Um, so I'll get that down in a second, and then we'll get this one in about nine o'clock-ish, quarter past nine, let it settle, and in bed for 10, 10.30. My totals for the day are 6,287 calories, um, which is very similar to what my last off-season finished at. So 6,273 calories, more or less identical um, to what I finished my last off-season at. Food's been higher um, before. I got to like 7,100 in my previous push, which got very uncomfortable. Um, so food won't go any higher than what it is at the minute. Uh, we've kind of peaked at peaked at, at, at the the most food that I'm gonna 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 eat. I think anything more than that is going to be counter, counterproductive, um, and we don't need to really stray too far away from this body composition that I'm in. Performance is good, recovery is good, uh, routine is still good. So I want to finish this off season strong. Next sort of three weeks or so, just keep getting the food in and. Uh, will then transition into our pre-prep phase, ready to get peeled. So keep an eye out. I'll be doing another full day of eating when I start prep and see how much food's been taken away from me, which I'm very much looking forward to. That should wrap it up. Smokes will put all the calories, macros on each meal. If you've got any questions, let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you for your support. Thank you for following, liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, please keep interacting and, and let me know what you want to see. Uh, let's try and get a thousand likes on this one and I'll see you soon. Keep eating, get massive and I'll see you soon guys.